is one yard. We square both sides and we get the fact that nine feet squared is equal to one yard squared. Getting this, Charlie? Okay. All right, now, if we square both sides on that last equation, notice here we get that one inches squared is equal to 6.4516 centimeters squared. Now, these equations would be used to create conversion factors for area, and we'll be doing that one of those very soon here. Now, if we want volume, remember, volume is three dimensions. The volume of a rectangular box is length times width times height. And those dimensions would be like inches cubed or centimeters cubed, okay, or yards cubed or feet cubed. So we're going to take our equations and this time we're going to cube both sides to give us these answers, okay. Now notice, those were for area, okay. Here's the results when we cube both sides. 1,728 inches cubed is equivalent to one foot cubed. 27 feet cubed is equal to one yard cubed and one inch cubed is equal to 16.387064 centimeters cubed. Those are dimensions for volume, okay? So let's use these and let's do an area problem. Here we're going to convert two yards squared to centimeters squared. Now how big is a yard squared, Charlie? This? That's, right. That's pretty big there, right? But you have two of those. How uh -huh. big is a centimeter squared? Yeah, it's about that big right there, huh? So again, we're going to get a lot of centimeters squared for our answer. So here we go. We first start with a ratio. Two yards squared over one. You need to have a ratio to do these conversion problems. So we just put over one. Now, we're going to convert the yard squared to what, Charlie? Feet squared. Feet squared first. Now notice here, nine feet squared is equal to one yard squared, so there's our conversion factor. And notice, what happens to the yard squared, Charlie? Cancel. They cancel out, leaving us with feet squared, right? Remember, we don't want feet squared, we want centimeters squared. So we're going to go from feet squared to where do you think, Charlie? Inches squared? Inches squared, uh -huh. because then we can go from inches squared to centimeters squared. So notice here, we put feet squared on the bottom, inches squared on the top, so that the feet squared will cancel, leaving us with just inches squared. Okay, Charlie, what do we do now? Cancel inches. That's right, convert to centimeters squared. So in our next conversion factor, we put inches squared on the bottom, centimeters squared on top. Put the numbers in the right places. Inches squared cancel out, and our units are what, Charlie? Centimeters centimeter squared. squared. That's what we wanted. So now all you have to do is do what, Charlie? Multiply. Put the numbers in your calculator, that's right, and get the right answer out. And what do you get, Charlie? Four, two, um, something, um, not sure. I think you're right. I think he said 16,722.547 centimeters squared. That's right. Very nice, Charlie. Okay. And that answer right there is rounded to the nearest thousandths for us. So we'll go ahead and circle our answer, and that takes care of that. So we got one more problem to do. Let's make it a good one. What we're going to do in this prompt is we're going to convert five meters cubed to feet cubed. Okay. Now. What is a meter cubed? Well, Charlie, how big is a meter? This big. Okay, so if we want a, a meter cubed, you'd have to make a box, right? A cubic box, okay? So there's a picture of one there, and Charlie will show you about how big that is. All right. Very nice there, Charlie. All right, so it's about that big. Well, now, in comparison, how big is a foot, Charlie? This big. Okay, so what would a cubic foot look like? About this big? Oh, very nice there, Charlie. Okay, so if we look at, we have some pictures up here to give you some uh, uh, respect in size, okay? A cubic meter is a lot bigger than a cubic foot, okay? So remember, we have five of those cubic meters, and we're going to find out how many of those little cubic feet will fit in that cubic meter box, okay? So here we go. Five. Now, remember from your metric system that one meter is a hundred centimeters. Remember, a centi means a hundred, though, right? Okay. And also, what we're going to do is we're going to cube both sides of this equation so that we can deal with volume. And if we cube both sides, notice we get one meter cubed is equal to a hundred cubed centimeters cubed. Well, a hundred cubed, remember, to cube it, get your calculator and do it, 
but we'll do it when we write out our conversion factor. So let's go. We first write our ratio of one, five meters cube over one, and now we're going to convert the meters cube to what, Charlie? Centimeters cube. Centimeters cube by using that equation over there. So notice here, we put the meters cube on the bottom, centimeters cubed on top, and now, what's 100 cubed, Charlie? A million. That's right, it's one million. So mm -hmm. one million centimeters cubed is equal to one meter cubed, because one cubed is one times one times one, which is one. So there's a conversion factor, and notice meters cubed cancel out, leaving us with centimeters cubed. Okay, Charlie, now we're gonna convert the centimeter cubes to what? Inches cubed. To inches cubed, okay. So now, we're gonna use the fact that one inch cubed is equal to 16.3870064 centimeters cubed. Okay, that's from up there. So notice, we're gonna put the centimeters cubed on the bottom, inches cubed on top, okay. One inch cubed is equal to 16.3870064 centimeters cubed. There we go. Centimeters cubed cancel out, leaving us with just the inches cubed, which is what we wanted to get to, okay? And we're not done yet though, Charlie, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want inches cubed, we want what? We want Centimeters. feet cubed. Feet cubed. Okay. So now we've got to inches cubed. Now we've got to convert those inches into feet cubed. And so we're going to use the fact that 1,728 inches cubed is equal to one foot cubed. So here we go, Charlie, notice here, we're gonna put the inches cubed on the bottom, feet cubed on top, okay? And write in our ratio, one foot cubed is equal to 1,728 inches cubed. There we go, inches cubed cancel out, leaving you with feet cubed, which is the dimensions that we want. So now we're gonna figure out how many of the little feet cubed fit in that cubic, uh, that cubic meter box. Five okay. of them. So put the numbers in your character, Charlie, and what did you get? 176.5733 feet cubed. Very nice, Charlie. We're going to round this to the nearest thousands. So what is it? 176.573 feet cubed. Don't forget to box your answer, and that's it for conversions now. Okay, those are conversions that we do in pre-algebra. Now, we're going to look at, uh, in our next conversion video, we're going to look at some conversions that are commonly used in the nursing program. Okay, we're going to deal with like millimeters, microliters, centimeters, all kinds of other things. So, come back later and look at us for part two, which is conversions that deal with other types of dimensions. Okay, so that's it. Anyway, we've got to get going. I'm getting tired. Okay, we'll see you guys soon.